हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज मिनी सेटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट गेम थ्योरी दिस थ्योरी इज गिवन बाय मैथमेटिशियन जॉन वॉन न्यूमैन एंड इकोनॉमिस्ट ऑस्कर मॉर्गेंस्टन व्हाट इज मीन बाय गेम थ्योरी गेम थ्योरी बेसिकली स्टडी अबाउट हाउ टू मेक डिसीजन इन कंफ्लिक्टिंग सिचुएशन गेम थ्योरी बेसिकली स्टडी अबाउट हाउ टू मेक डिसीजन इन कंफ्लिक्टिंग सिचुएशन फॉर एग्जांपल टू और मोर अपोनेंट stuck in any conflicting situation two or more opponent stuck in any conflicting situation then game theory help them to make a decision okay so we can say that game theory help to make a decision in conflicting situation okay and there are two cases we study under game theory first is dominant strategy other one is nash equilibrium what does mean by dominant strategy dominant strategy means a player will select his optimal option dominant strategy mean a player will select his optimal option no matter what does his rival player does okay what does mean by optimal option optimal option mean best possible option optimal option mean best possible option in dominant theory a player will select his best possible option no matter what does his rival player does okay For example, there are two player A and B, and there are two option one and two. Whatever option A will select, he will see this option is best for me. For example, A select two option. When A select two option, he will see this option is best for me. No matter what option B is going to select, he don't know about that or don't consider about it. He see only their own interest. This option is best for me. That's why I am going. to select it that is exactly dominant strategy we will understand dominant strategy with the help of very famous example of game theory that is prisoner dilemma okay what does mean by prisoner dilemma in a society two person done a crime in a society two person done a crime a and b both have been sent to the jail and they are in separate lock up both cannot talk to each other okay keep in your mind a and b are kept in separate lock up and they cannot talk to each other okay it both have two option a and b have two option either they confess their crime or don't confess their crime both a and b have two option either they confess their crime or don't confess their crime if both confess their crime each will get 5 year of punishment if both uh, uh, confess their crime then each will get 5 year of punishment on the other hand if both don't confess confess their crime each will get 2 year of punishment okay if person a don't confess their crime but b confess in this case a will get 20 year of punishment and b will get only 1 year of punishment if b don't confess their crime but a confess in this case a will get 1 year of punishment and b will get 20 year of punishment and after considering or analyzing all this option both select confession after analyzing all these option both select confession confession and <laughs> okay b and uh, a and b both confess their crime i'm in front of police and this is dominant strategy of both of them this is best possible option for both of them that's why they, this is called dominant strategy for them confession is dominant strategy for both of them in case of confession each will get 5 5 year of punishment this is called best dominant strategy for both of them now question is arise how can we how can we say that this is a best dominant strategy for both of them they can select this option na by not confessing they will get only 2 year of punishment that is very less from the 5 year of punishment why did not they select this option because this option is very risky if a think uh, i will not confess then what happen if b confess in this case a will get 20 year of punishment and b will get only 1 year of punishment that is very unfair or oh, similar way b will think so this option is very risky that's why they cannot select this option after analyzing all this option they will select 
ब्लड कन्फेशन एंड कन्फेशन इज बेस्ट डोमिनेट स्ट्रेटी फॉर बोथ ऑफ दैम बिकॉज वेन दे सेलेक्ट कन्फेशन दे डोंट नो अबाउट ईच अदर स्ट्रेटी बिकॉज बोथ आर इन सेपरेट लॉक अप दे डोंट नो अबाउट ईच अदर स्ट्रेटी दैट्स वाई दे डोंट केयर अबाउट दैट वट अदर इज गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट दे सिलेक्ट कन्फेक्शन बिकॉज दे थिंक दिस इज बेस्ट स्ट्रेटी फॉर दैम ओके दैट्स वाई दिस इज कॉल डोमिनेट स्ट्रेटी फॉर बोथ ऑफ दैम ओके नाउ नैश इक्वली बीरियम वट डज मीन बाई नैश इक्वली बीरियम नैश इक्वली बीरियम मीन ऑप्टिम आउटकम ऑफ गेम इज वेयर देयर इज नो इंसेंटिव टू डिवेट फ्रॉम इट्स इनिशियल स्ट्रेटी नैश इक्वली बीरियम वी विल गेट ऑप्टिम आउटपुट वी विल गेट ऑप्टिम आउटकम वेयर where there is no incentive to deviate from its initial strategy means in nash equilibrium we will get optimum point where player cannot change their initial strategy player cannot deviate from their initial strategy or we can say that player cannot move from their initial strategy if player move from their initial strategy they will get loss we will understand nash equilibrium with very simple example okay here there are two form A firm and B firm. Okay, both have two uh, option. Either advertise their product or don't advertise their product. If both A and B advertise, each will attract hundred customer. If both A and B firm advertise, each will get hundred uh, customer. Okay. If they both don't advertise, neither A advertise nor B advertise, they will not attract any customer. They will attract zero zero customer. If A don't advertise, but B advertise. In this case, A will attract zero customer and B will attract two hundred customer. Okay, uh, and B don't advertise, but A advertise. In this case, A will attract two hundred customer and B will attract zero customer. Okay, then uh, for example, if B, if A know about B strategy, if A know about B strategy, B is going to advertise. In this case, A will definitely advertise. Okay, if B, if A know about B strategy, B is going Going to advertise in this case, A definitely advertise. Okay, because because A can in this case A cannot change their initial strategy. If A change their strategy, they, he will get lower. You can see that if B is going to advertise, A will not adv advertise. In this case, B will attract two hundred customer and A will attract zero customer. That's why A cannot change their initial strategy because if he change their initial strategy, he is going to get a loss. Similar in the case of B, if B know about A strategy. That he is going to advertise, then B definitely advertise. Otherwise, he will going to get a loss. Okay, that's why after knowing each other strategy, both firm will advertise and they will get their uh, dash equilibrium in this point. Okay, this is best possible option for both of them. This is best possible option for both of them, A as well as B, and they cannot deviate from their their uh, this point. They cannot deviate from their this strategy. If they deviate or move or change uh, their their strategy, they will they will going to get. Get a loss. Okay, this is all about Nash equilibrium. Most of the time, we confuse between dominant strategy and a Nash equilibrium. Okay. As we know, uh, this is dominant strategy and this is Nash equilibrium. Okay, but we confuse between dominant strategy and Nash equilibrium. I will make you few differences. Do in dominant strategy, we don't know what other is is doing. Okay, we don't know about other person strategy. In this case, A and B are in separate lockup. Okay, they don't know about each other strategy. Okay, but in Nash equilibrium, we know about each other strategy. A B A B. A know about B strategy, and after knowing B strategy, A decide. Okay, similar B know about A strategy. After knowing A strategy, B decide. Okay, but in dominant strategy, we don't know about each other strategy. But in Nash equilibrium, we know about each other strategy. In dominant strategy, best for one person. When A select confession, he see their own interest. That is best for one person. But in Nash equilibrium, is best for every person in the game. Okay, and one most important thing uh, we can also find nash equilibrium prisoner dilemma we can also find nash equilibrium in prisoner dilemma and sometime dominant strategy can have a nash equilibrium sometime dominant strategy can have a nash equilibrium and we can find multiple nash equilibrium in one game okay this is all about important concept of game theory dominant strategy nash equilibrium and prisoner dilemma i think you got understood thank you so much for watching this video and take Okay, bye.